Hello. In this video, we'll provide some basics on supervised and unsupervised learning. An easy way to begin grasping the concept of supervised learning is by looking directly at the words that make it up. Supervised means to observe and direct the execution of a task, project, or activity. Obviously, we're not going to be supervising a person. Instead, we'll be supervising a machine learning model that might be able to produce classification regions like we see here. So how do we supervise a machine learning model? We do this by teaching the model. That is, we load the model with knowledge so that we can have it predict future instances. But this leads to the next question, which is, how exactly do we teach a model? We teach the model by training it with some data from a labeled data set. It's important to note that the data is labeled. And what does a labeled data set look like? Well, it can look something like this. This example is just taken from the IRIS dataset, which is a famous dataset used for machine learning. Let's start by classifying some components of this table. The names up here, which are called sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and species, are called the attributes. The columns are called features, which include the data. If you look at a single data point on a plot, it'll have all of these attributes. That would make a row on this chart or an observation. Looking directly at the value of data, you can have two kinds. The first is numerical. When dealing with machine learning, the most commonly used data is numeric. The second is categorical. That is, it's non-numeric because it contains characters rather than numbers. In this case, it's categorical because this data set is made for classification. Usually, a data set like this will be put into a .csv file, or comma-separated value file. This file separates observations by new lines and attributes by commas, hence comma-separated. There are two types of supervised learning, classification and regression. 